yes, Julia, I've got her notes here. I've put her through. Hello, uh, Miss Polonius, I'm Dr. Phelps, the psychiatrist reassigned to your case. Uh, pardon me? You'd, you'd prefer to be called Ophelia? Y yes, of course, Ophelia, no problem, I, qu I quite understand. <laughs> uh, come to think of it, Miss Polonius makes you sound a bit like a, a radioactive isotope. <laughs> you know, the one they used to kill that Russian. No, 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 of course I'm not saying you're toxic. <laughs> I barely know you. Look, I, I think we got off on the wrong foot, um, Ophelia. Let let's start again. What a, what a great name, Ophelia. Uh, where are you now? At the riverside. Oh, uh, are you in training? Uh, do, do, do you sweep, row, or, or, or scull? You can't stand sport. My, my apologies, I, I forgot myself. At the moment, I'm uh, counselling athletes almost full-time. Concentrate. Tuesday afternoons is pro bono. <coughs> so, uh, down by the riverside, you say? Uh, very relaxing. Not really. Why? What are you doing? You're about to drown yourself. Uh, now, now, before you do that, um, Ophelia, I, I want you to listen. Um, we, we, we're going to solve this problem together, whatever it is. Uh, you and me, uh, did, did you understand? Yeah, let me have a look at your notes. Okay, um, Polonius was your father. Uh -huh. and no one's been charged with his murder, but you strongly suspect your boyfriend, Hamlet. That's a hell of a whale you've got there, uh, Ophelia. Now, now I, I want you to look around you. Yeah. Do you see any trees or flowers? Good. good. I, I want you to make something with the flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can put the uh, phone down and switch to speaker. Uh, and while you're doing that, I want you to list ten reasons for living. Ten. Have you understood? Good. Right. Well, I've got another patient on the other line, but uh, I'll be right back. <coughs> Desdemona. <laughs> Very punctual as usual. <laughs> now, have you come up with a single reason why your husband Othello might want to murder you? <coughs> the same one as last time. Uh -huh. A missing <coughs> handkerchief. Yeah, I, well, I still don't understand, but never mind. Um, did you go to the uh, relate counsellor as I advised? You went by yourself. Your husband got sent away on a military campaign. Did he win? Well, uh, that's good from the, um, from the country's point of view, at least. No, 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 no Desdemona, you, you're doing that um, sotto voce thing again. I, I can barely hear you. Uh, let me be frank, there's a fine line between being softly spoken and being a wet dish rag. Yeah, you're not communicating. No, no, look, you, you keep saying it's a mixed race marriage. That's not a term we use these days. What? You caught him talking to a candle last night? Well, you don't have to be Freudian to understand that. Desdemona, carpe diem, seize the day. Or better still, seize your husband's candle. Othello's entitled to a bit of marital action after a long, hard day at the front. Yeah? Well, of course he is. Yes. Well, no, you, you need to let the love flow. Do you understand? Yes. Exactly. That's right. Oh, you don't want to bruise your lovely white skin as smooth as monumental alabaster? Is that a fact? No, I suppose I don't... Uh, fully understand the significance of a translucent glow from a heroine. But, but since when did you become such an expert on the representation of white women? What? Othello believes that having sex pollutes your pure white body? Iago says so. Look, Miss, Mrs Desdemona, if you're seeing another psychiatrist, then you're, you're perfectly uh, at liberty to do so. You, you don't have to stay with me at all. But I must tell you that although I am predominantly a sports psychiatrist, I am also a fully qualified doctor who, under the terms of his community service order, <laughs> totally unjustified, I might add, uh, is offering counselling to all major characters in the first folio with at least eight lines of dialogue and fewer than 200. No, not all my patients are women. 
I refuse to discuss my client list with you. All right. If you must know, I'm currently counselling more than half a dozen male courtiers, a couple of fools, and a senior military man called Fortinbras. So, in actual fact, I don't need your matronage. Desdemona? Desdemona! Stuck up bitch. <sighs> Ophelia, what a pretty song. Oh, you, you've made a daisy chain. Wow, a garland. Now, what about that list? You haven't started it yet. It makes you cry just to think about it. No, 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 no please, please don't cry. No, I realise you're distressed and, uh, and depressed. I'm depressed. I, I mean distressed. Really, I am. Ah, oh, that's better. Much better. Do I think suicide is ever justified? Well, could be, particularly with those long, dark Danish winters. <laughs> you want to see who? Yorick? Is that like Jorvik, the town with all that Norse stuff? <laughs> oh, it's a person. <coughs> a corpse. No, 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 please don't start crying again. Oh, my mistake, it, it's the wind. <laughs> Sorry, I thought... You... Yes, summer can be bleak in Denmark. I don't know why anyone would choose to live there. No, 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 I, I didn't mean that. Uh, no, please, uh, please, Ophelia, stop. Stop. Step away from the water. No, put the phone down. You could electrocute yourself. <clears throat> uh, Julia, could you send an email to w.shakespeare at arden.co.uk? Yeah, um, yes, spear with an E-A-E -E at the end. S H A. -K. Oh, sod it, it doesn't matter. He doesn't care how he spells his name, so why should I? <laughs> Bill, I'm unable to save any of your female characters, um, so in future, could you please make them less fatalistic? Yeah, best wishes, Phelps, MD, PhD, FABFE, etc., etc. What's that, Julia? My new five o'clock's on line two. Oh, a uh, referral from the major character unit. Right, we're well, far away. Yeah, the, the name's Viola. Mm -hmm. Viola, like the musical instrument, right. Uh, what's the problem? A contemporary male actor playing a woman pretending to be a man. Oh, put them through. I've done six of those already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 